So we touched on a little bit of what Roadmap MBA does, but I'm going to give you the floor. Could you pitch Roadmap MBA to the people watching, the people listening? Tell us yeah. all about it. Okay. So I'm a chartered mechanical engineer. Um, I'm good at my job. I'm a management consultant now, and I work with companies around the world to help them grow and develop. Uh, I've done that for the past kind of 10, 15 years, and I'll be honest, I'm, I'm really good at it. But one of the issues that you face when you go through your career is that there are millions of people around the world that want to progress their careers, develop their businesses, and really help you know develop a life for themselves, you know, to help reach their ambitions. But the truth is, 99% of people can't afford traditional business education. Um, you know, if you want to go and do a traditional MBA in the UK, you're looking at 12 to 90,000 pounds. Uh, in America, it's a lot more than that. But that's just the cash. You also have to think about time. And if you're a parent or you work a job or whichever, most people can't afford to give up time off work, that kind of thing. But then throw into the top of that is that you have, a lot, ironically, a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of founders left school early. It wasn't for them. They wanted to pursue other pursuits. But one of the other big issues with business education and traditional education, and this is someone that I have two master's degrees. I did a PhD at Sheffield. I kind of, I've been there. But a lot of people, they make complicated information, complicated. They don't simplify it because the irony is that to really, I think it's an Einstein quote, but to explain something simply, you need to really, really understand it. So one of the things that I really wanted to do with the Roadmap MBA, and it kind of it comes in a textbook like this, and Carl held it up before, is to give people access to quality business education from someone that lives it and breathes it all day, every day, that I get paid by the hour to turn around companies. So you have to be good at what you're doing. And um, we give away a huge number of courses for free that people can't afford it. So we have a buy one gift one initiative that in being honest, if a company buys five for their kind of leadership team, that probably allows me to fund about 50 courses to people around the world. But the mission behind when I grew up, there's no way I could ever have afforded a professional business education. And I know that that's true around the world. And what I'm looking to do is not replace what business schools and universities do. It's to help people that don't have access to it. And that's the crucial niche. But then likewise, um, working with businesses every day, predominantly kind of small SMEs, there's a lot of challenges that people in smaller businesses face or smaller startups face where you often have to wear different hats. So you might be the CEO, but you also have to do HR. You also have to do sales. You have to do marketing. You have to write the strategy. And it's very difficult. Nobody can teach you to do that. So we put it all in one place, the complete kind of roadmap to grow your kind of business or career. But then likewise, to really make the uh, business concept simple. So rather than read a 400 page strategy book, it really goes into huge detail. Most people actually just want to know how to use it. How can I take some information, implement it today that will help me sell more tomorrow? So what we do, and it's designed from scratch so that you can pick it up for two minutes or two hours. But literally like a magazine, read one little section, could just take you two minutes, but it'll add value to your business. And what you've got is 250 pages and whole website staff and classroom sessions that just, for me, tackle all the limitations of traditional business education. Um, and since launch in February last year, it's in 26 countries now, everywhere from UK to America to China to Ukraine, Ghana, Nigeria. And, you know, that's 11 months in, I think now. And just in terms of the kind of the pitch and the dream is that some of my competitors are worth $100 million. That's what they're kind of valued at. But a lot of them are still based on stuff like mindset and a lot of kind of woolly, kind of TED Talky type stuff. This is built from the ground up with real hands-on practical skills that I know they're good and the feedback's good and the trust pilot reviews are good. But my, my belief that it fits in the market, not just on price, but actually I think it's more usable to more people in the real world. That yes, if you can afford to go and do a traditional MBA, do it. It'll be fantastic. You'll have a great time. But for the 99% of people that can't, they're in a job, they can't afford it, they haven't got time. They might not have the academic grades or background to get in. They could be in the wrong part of the world where they can't get access to it. There's hundreds of different factors. The Roadmap MBA is something to consider. And if you can't afford one, that's absolutely fine. Get in touch and I'll probably send you one for free as well. Especially if anyone kind of watches this, just reach out to me or Carl and I'll hook you up as well. No, I, um, I, as you know, I, I have a copy myself and I love the point there where you said it is like a magazine. You can go in and <laughs> you can read a small section or you can read a few pages. I mean, that's all I've been doing. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, as you say, I do wear many hats as a founder. 
you know, you, you touched on the ones I actually do, like the HR stuff, the operations, you know, the day to day stuff. It is a lot, especially mm -hmm. with early stage startups. So having a, a resource like this, and plus the, the live streams and the videos and the other content, it's just from my perspective as a founder, it's just so good to have. Well, yes. one of the interesting things, and I don't know if we'll talk about pivoting, but when you also had version one, I believe, which I, I it was my minimum viable product that I kind of launched. And one of the things that I really kind of learned was that I'd written the book and it was good content and I had a website and there's hundreds of videos and it was actually a consumer feedback and how important that is. One of the things that people actually said was that they love the fact that they can dip in and out. So when people are busy day on, day out, you don't feel guilty that you had not turned up to class because you don't have to. But if you need to, you can, but it's the fact that in the live classroom sessions that we have, at, we do four a week, all different time zones. It's the fact that Carl can join or you can join or whoever we walk through the course, but we make the concept real to you. So there's a two way feedback. And because I'm kind of good at this, we had a, a chap called James during the three o'clock session on Tuesday. And within 20 minutes, we'd revolutionized his whole idea about how he was going to um, fund his business as, as a prime example with that one um, tech founder very good at what he does, understands the technology, but never been taught to sell and run a sales pipeline. And now that he's set up as a freelancer, his biggest challenge is to make money to survive. You're not going to get taught that at a Newcastle university or Harvard or wherever. They're not going to teach you how to make money in two months time. Otherwise you can't pay your rent. We do, we can talk about it. We give you the techniques. And cause I do this all day, every day, the people on the course, I'm very honest about my own journey so that it's not just a tutor or lecturer teaching you someone else's theory whilst i do that it's making it real that actually i tell you about what i'm doing i'll be honest about things that i've tried this week stuff that's worked stuff that hasn't worked but it's that two-way interaction you don't get on udemy or masterclass or a lot of the other platforms where they're all one way for me the the balance of what i'm trying to create is the peloton of business education so if you know what peloton is um they revolutionized fitness classes where you can join on from anywhere in the world but it's live sessions. You can talk to people and you can see the leaderboards. You can have different tutors. You can do different classes. I'm trying to do that for business education, making it accessible. And at some point, hopefully this year, it's not going to just be the Steve Pusey. I'm going to have different presenters, different languages, and a whole kind of new platform I've got coming. But the, the real first pivot was even doing the classroom sessions from scratch because I hadn't planned to do it. But ironically, now that's the strongest USP that I have. And part of the reason why it's such a USP is because it's very difficult live when you're broadcasting to 20,000 people. If someone asks you a question and you don't know the answer, you're going to get found out pretty quick. And the truth is most people that kind of do what I do that help people grow and scale, they just talk about someone else's theory. They don't actually live it and breathe it. So part of the USP for the business and for me is me my background and my knowledge and my experience, but it's a way to add value to Carl's business or your business and um, like super, super quick. And that's what we're kind of looking to, um, you know, do. And the fact that you can get it for free, um, is hopefully attractive as well. Yeah. I think if, speaking to myself again, I gravitate towards people that practice what they preach. You get a lot of people that talk the talk, but haven't necessarily walked the walk. I know mm -hmm. that's cliche, but that's the only that's way true. to put it. Um, but, but with your content and your stuff, it's like you're, you're doing it day to day. Mm -hmm. So anyone seeing that. They can relate to it you know i i'm an i'm a business owner this person's doing these things each day i will engage and listen to that content whereas i think there is a lot of sort of you know talkers around the business world that maybe just preaching something that yeah it might have a bit of value here and there but what you're really getting out of that whereas with yours it's it's every day you know but that's the, the, the other side to it as well is that with when, so i'm 38 now and I've been around a bit, but I am good at my job. But a lot of the people I compete against are in their fifties. And I knew when I set up, you will, am I allowed to swear on this podcast? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> but there were people who basically will say, who the fuck's this guy? What does he know? He's only in his thirties. So part of the reason when, with my marketing and campaign and stuff, when I send people the packs, you know, you get this and you can flick through it in your own time and hopefully see how good it is and the depth and the quality and stuff. You can't fake that. And the point is it disarms anyone's ammo against you to say that you don't know what you're doing. And you, cause the, the big thing about business again, is that you could give a hundred people a theory 
of most people know in theory how to grow a business. Less than 1% will actually execute to a high standard to actually be successful. The people can see me execute every day, you know, at least every week on the streams and, you know, the amount of effort that goes into these, that you can't fake that. And then likewise, hopefully the fact that after 10, 11 months in 26 countries, my hope is that that's only going to grow over time. And just as a prime example, so for instance, one of my other big inspirations is, you know, Gymshark? So Ben Francis that does that great British company, rarely inspirational. At some point they will build to a flotation and they're kind of on the way there now, valued at over a billion dollars. But it's no surprise I'm currently now working with my second company as a client, as a management consultant who are floating on the stock market. By the time with the roadmap I float in five, six years time, I will have been through the process five, six times. And the point is, companies hire me. There's some firms in America that'll pay me $250 an hour to give them advice on how to do stuff. And they wouldn't do that if I couldn't deliver. But the point is, the, the ability to be a management consultant and work with people and get be on board meetings and see what works and see what doesn't work. It's all of that information and knowledge I can process and then give back and share and simplify to help people who are on their journey because I actually do it. I don't just have a job in university and teach someone else's textbook, which could be 10 years out of date. It's stuff that's happened today. Um, and then again, that's the part of the beauty of when I do my live stream every Friday morning, I'll talk about stuff that's happened the day before, the morning before, and you know, just talking about it and improvising. Because for me, the proof is in the pudding that you kind of execute and you know you put your own cock on the block kind of thing to prove how good you are and it's that which people will either buy into or, or they won't